Hey Tappers! So this week I want to touch on something that it's kind of an obvious thing, but I don't know if it's ever been directly mentioned to you. EFT is a skeleton key. What do I mean by that? You can take it and apply it to any situation where there is negative stress. Now stress is something that we tend to use as a word when we step into overwhelm, which overwhelm would be considered negative stress. There is positive stress. And when we're engaged in something that's considered positive stress, there can actually be a combination of both stressors happening. Well, for positive stress, here's what I mean. When you're doing something that's exciting, like maybe you are at a theme park and you're going on a scary ride, or you're giving a performance that you're really excited to give, you're engaging in a sports activity in a really important game. All of these things have positive stress associated with them. Also, working out. Also, any kind of work goal. All of these things have deadlines, they have intensities, and there can be both positive and negative stressors interwoven into all of those things. So what does EFT have to do with that? Well, you can tap out the negative. I don't remember which hand I moved. Let's say it's this one. You can tap out the negative, and then you're only left with the positive stressors of it, which does a ton for you metabolically. Now, metabolically speaking, some stress is very positive for us. It's actually something that's been proven that we need Need. However, chronic negative stress, not so much. That's negative results. We have lots of data to that too. Doing this whenever you're engaged in mm, anything is going to help you remove that negative stress from it so that you can engage in all of the positive qualities of what you're doing. And you can do it at the beginning. You can do it when you're in rehearsals. You can do it if you're in the middle of something and it's stressing you out. You've got a difficult play that you have to make, you know, in the next, uh, you can tell I don't play many sports, in the next call that you have to um, perform with your teammates. Uh, if you're in the middle of a difficult performance or you're about to do a solo piece or something, and there are ways that you can tap that are more incognito. I made videos on that a long time ago. There's multiple tapping spots on the top of your foot. And so I'll take my heel and tap on those spots, um, just like now. And you can't even tell that I'm doing anything. I'll do that when I'm standing a lot. I'm getting off topic. EFT is something you can truly apply anywhere, anytime. And if you are experiencing any negative stress, the signal that this sends to your brain is to look around and go, oh, wait, that negative stress that I'm feeling doesn't apply here. And if it does apply, uh, you're not gonna tap away negative stress that deserves to be there. That will not disappear that quickly. Your brain will analyze it and go, no, this is very valid. This is really uncomfortable right now what we're going through. Um, so you're not gonna put yourself in danger by tapping. I hope that's helpful. That was maybe a little convoluted, uh, but the takeaway here is EFT is a skeleton key because it taps away any negative stress of any situation that you're feeling um, that you can do before the event, during the event, or after the event, depending on how you feel for any of it. Okay, bye-bye.